Blake Emily. I'm sorry. How did you get in here? You recognize this? It's your key. You dropped it down by Koi Tower, but I brought it by just to check and make sure it was the right one. Well, you're a regular Boy Scout, aren't you? What's well, funny you'd say that, because I used to be a Boy Scout, Troop 77. But now I'm a PI, and I'd like to ask you a few questions. What's that smell? I'm not sure. But my best guess is, this is what you're smelling. Oh, it's not mine. Really. Where'd you get this? Well, I found it next door at the Ritz. That's where I live, and I've been trying to find out who it belongs to. I'll make sure it gets to the right person. Now, why don't you run along before I call the cops? Well, I'm not sure, but I think Mr. Leach and I hit it off pretty darn well. At least he told me what I wanted to know. Emily lives at the Flamingo. Now I'll just have to find another way into the club and get past that big mutant. Maybe Chelsea could help. Seems to me she mentioned having a membership to the club. If she's home, I'll apologize and see if she'll go out for a drink with me. Maybe at the Fuchsia Flamingo. When I get to Chelsea's apartment at the Four Gables, there's a knot in my stomach as big as a cantaloupe. She's probably convinced I stood her up. I'll be lucky if she even talks to me. Just a little late, aren't you? Okay. I know this looks really bad. And you're probably really upset with me. You're damn right I'm upset. I didn't deserve to be stood up. This has to be one of the worst days of my life. I finally get a date with you and somebody decides to knock me out. I wouldn't blame you if you never talked to me again. Oh, I have heard a lot of lame excuses, but this has got to be the worst one ever. I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's true. I was out for, like, 16 hours. And why should I believe you? I told you before, Chelsea, I am crazy about you. And I'd do anything to make you crazy about me. I couldn't help not being here last night. But if you're not going to believe me, we might as well call it quits right now. I mean, we'll never get anywhere if you can't take me at my word. You're right. I'm sorry. You know, I was just really looking forward to seeing you. And, well, then you didn't come, and well, I figured you'd changed your mind. No way. You can feel the bump on my head if you want. Ooh. Are you okay? Nothing a little TLC and four fingers of bourbon wouldn't take care of. I am really not in any shape to go out for a drink. I've been up all night and I am a total wreck. Give me a day or two to recover and, uh, well, we'll start all over. Okay? Okay. I am sorry that you had a bad night. And I'm even more sorry that I got so mad at you. Have a good night.
Ladies and gentlemen, the Fuchsia Flamingo proudly presents your entertainment. I fly back home and walk over to the front door of the Flamingo. Luckily, someone other than Leech is checking the membership. I get a nice older couple to sponsor me, and I'm in like Flynn. Looks like Lucy Love is wearing the scarf I gave to Leech. Nice to meet you, Emily. Now I just gotta figure out how to get a minute of your time. Unfortunately, Leech hasn't taken his eyes off me since I sat down. He's probably wondering how I got in. I better get a move on before he throws me out. As soon as he gives me an opening, I'll see if I can slip upstairs to Emily's apartment. talk to you for a minute. What do you want? My name's Tex Murphy. I'm looking for Thomas Malloy. I know you. Have we met? No. You're a detective, right? Listen. I have to get ready for my next set. Why don't you have a seat right over here? I've heard you can help people. I do my best. You think you can help me? Well, it depends on the problem. I think someone's gonna murder me. Why would you think that? It started a couple days after Thomas left. I got a weird call. Someone asking where Thomas had gone. I told them I didn't know, and they hung up. A couple days later, I found a note in my room. After I read it, I was so scared. I told Gus, he told me not to worry about it. That it was just some freak who gets off on scaring women. But I know it's not like that. It's serious. Oh, well, this sounds like something the police ought to handle. Gus says he'll protect me. He doesn't want the police or anyone else taking care of me. I know he means well. But sometimes, but he's always been so good to me. I don't know what to do. Well, I'll need to take a look at the note, if you still got it. I do, but I tore it up after I read it. I was gonna throw it away, but I decided to save it and give it to the police. Good girl. Now, have you received any calls or messages like this since then? No. But I feel like someone's watching me. Well, I'll check that out. By the way, you tell me your real name? Emily. Emily Sue Patterson. Listen, Emily, I'll do what I can. But you gotta promise me that you'll tell me everything about Dr. Malloy. Well, I... That's probably fair. I think I can trust you. Why are you looking for him? Actually, I was hired by a friend of his to find him. Hey, Emily, you're on a... What the hell are you doing in here? Gus, it's okay. He just came up for an autograph picture. I'll be right Get the photo down. another time. Get the hell out. We were done anyway. Good night, Lucy. Don't bother going back to your table. Just keep on walking right out of my club. I've seen the flamingo again. I'll break your legs. Well, my bar tab's on the table. Guess that means the drinks are on you. Night, Leech. <laughs> <laughs> 